Hello guys and welcome to my budget deck channel today with a bit of an odd one. Um, the new set brought uh, some new cards and I would say half a deck. I don't really feel like it's a deck, it's more of an engine because I think there's going to be more main deck monsters eventually. Like, I really hope so because right now uh, it feels a bit like uh, a lot of decks that come out and like, like Plunder Patrol first wave or something where you feel like you could technically play the deck but uh, not really, so I thought maybe put it in some other kind of deck and since it kind of restricts you to fusion uh, monsters, but not, I mean, at least for the rest of uh, the turn usually, um, I thought why not pair it with a fusion deck and since they're all light, uh, I was like, well, um, Construct is free, so why not give that a shout? And I felt like it actually worked pretty fine. The only issue I have with this deck so far, I'll just address this at first, I'm not sure if this is a go first or go second deck because I feel like it has both kind of options uh, a little bit like um it does work going first it's not as good as any like actual going first combo deck and it works going second but it's not like as good as a, an otk kind of go a uh, second deck so i'm not sure um where the stick stands in the grind game it's quite nice and it has its potential it's probably not the best variant and as soon as it gets a uh, new support there's probably going to be um way better things to play but i feel like this deck was fun uh, when i played it and if you don't break, which uh, obviously can happen with these kind of decks uh, from time to time, then uh, I felt like it was great fun. So starting off uh, with the Shadow Brigade, one Beast for the draw, one uh, Dragon for pop and stuff, um, Skomata to send whatever, even the trap card. Um, now to the dual uh, Avatar, one uh, like three Yuhi and uh, three Koko Ku. Pff, you, you know what I'm talking about, the other guy or girl or. I don't know, well, whatever you want. Um, uh, one uh, Ariel or Ariel, whatever. Um, so you can do the whole like vanish, whatever, get uh, uh, multiple cards on field kind of combo. Don't play a Link 4, so you might want to splash Link 4 in, but you kind of want to fill your extra deck with the fusion as well. You could possibly cut one of uh, the Kongur if you want to play like some. Uh, power play-ish uh, link four to finish games we borrow sword or something like that uh you could do that um triple wendy i had it her too but i felt like more shadows in the deck makes sense if you draw into some of the fusions you want to make sure that you at least have uh one more um like shadow in your hand so you can actually fusion summon something with 20 monsters well technically like 17 because you, you can't use ash blossom because i did not put the fire one in um one hedgehog to search out monsters if that ever helps you deck thinning i mean it's not too bad plus uh another card that uh, is very neat with shadows in a second and uh, triple ash blossom well card is uh, very strong and probably the most expensive card with uh schism schism whatever you want <laughs> whatever you want to say um but uh, other than that the deck should be fairly cheap one effect valor technically for the light target as well but mainly you will be using either of them but but uh, effect well, it works as well plus there was one empty slot which i didn't really know what to fill it with so i thought uh, why not reinforcement because you can search either of your uh, dual fists dual avatar fist the uh, guy fighter thingies and uh trip wash it all fusion because uh, going second is really strong going first i mean you could technically hope to get a window on board if you want to yeah, I don't know, like, it works as a fusion, I guess. Um, terraforming for the field spell, which lets you search uh, your fist, uh, feet, oh, it's feet and fist, okay, okay. Didn't really look at the names much, I was more interested in the uh, if, uh, effect, uh, uh, in the effect. And um, a triple dual avatar invitation, because this card discards, but it doesn't discard for a cost, so it triggers a Shadow Monster. So that's actually, that's, that's the only reason why I made this whole massive clusterfuck of, uh, two archetypes that don't really complement each other because this card discards and it's not for a cost so you can trigger your shadow effects so there's some synergy like there's some synergy and uh yeah i liked that uh triple uh, shadow fusion and double uh dual avatar defeating evil geez the the other name is uh, way easier but yeah uh, i'm not sure if i want to play this card three or one or two i feel like two is good but if you draw it and you don't have a dual avatar on hand, this card is dead. You can technically replicate it with the trap card. You can technically search it. So at one, it might be fine. Not sure. 
This knight card is a real power play, I feel, but uh, yeah, don't know, only a situational, a situational moment. Um, perfect thing um, is, yeah, I guess the card is uh, your searcher, which is nice. Um, you can search by terraforming, which is also nice. And uh, one uh, Reshadol uh, incarnation for the place. If you want to flip up your uh, Shadows, if you have already have a graveyard set up, um, then you can uh, use the actually quite strongish effects, uh, the flip effects of the Shadol monsters, um, which is not too bad. And if you set it, you could revive stuff, which I mean, is a great no, but is it too bad? Not really. It's, it's okay. Um, one dual avatar return could play that more but i feel like this is also a card you can search it it's very situational it's like you kind of uh, need a monster in your graveyard for this you can get your fusions back though it does uh, trigger um your arm to argue the guy that pops and uh, yeah so that can be a disruption to your opponent's turn technically but i feel like at one it is fine could play it at two if you really want to um dual avatar compact same kind of thing because the only thing that you really want to copy with this mostly is uh, invitation uh could technically go for exorcism but also some uh, fusion summoning to your opponent's turn can be quite neat um also getting you that uh, pop effect and um yeah but you can't use that mo more often because you will run out of fusion monsters like insanely fast so um yeah I felt like at two or three it was more bricky and there are other cards that probably do a better job in the deck uh, with what they do. One uh, should all schism, schism, whatever it's called, uh, basically to out cards that um, are light or dark monsters because that's uh, what you can send to the graveyard then that otherwise are like under the effect of IP Mascarina. Like uh, I think I used this one time the, the effect against an Abramax that was uh, under the effect of IP. So I had no other out in this deck but this card, but it did win me the game in the end. So that was actually pretty neat. Um, for the extra deck, two of uh, this guy. Don't like him that much. I mean, go in second, it's quite nice if you get him out. Prefer the other version that's uh, out in the OCG for um, the feet person. <laughs> that sounds worse. That sounds not good. Um, I also do all construct, uh, obviously with the light cards being able to agree that set up and get rid of certain problematic cards sometimes can be quite nice. Um, Apcalone, same kind of thing. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Is uh, in a simplified game state that you will possibly achieve with this, with this deck from time to time. Actually a <laughs> pretty good stall uh, mechanism for, for you because uh, your opponent will eventually run out of uh, cards to deal with your monster. And if you then uh, have uh, the second feet person jesus christ do they have an only fans account or what is this um on board then you can really negate um effects of uh, your opponent's monster try to get rid of this card so that is pretty neat this card pops this card gives us minor attack boost it's nice ish yeah what, what am i gonna say to it uh winda can be a game winner it's not focused on it in this deck though because it's not like the whole dogmatica kind of build where you can spam this card out a lot because you send stuff to the graveyard you have and get a search and like instantly get these kind of setups it's uh situational but i mean it's still a good card right and one nightmare phoenix i didn't want to go too hard on the um link uh, monsters because i feel like you do need a lot of the fusion monsters in the deck so that's why there's no crazy link stuff in here plus it's a budget deck channel so i feel like justifying that just just with that reasoning uh, not because i was way too lazy to uh actually think about what link monster would make sense in this deck uh, i feel like nightmare phoenix is uh is a card that you would need the most i guess so uh there is that um other cards that you could consider fusion deployment which is good for like a more pure variant um if you don't want to have that many shadow cards in it if you want to cut stuff for example like uh el shadow fusion for some reason um which i could see that being a thing if you want to go more for a go second kind of focused version and want to keep in uh, the should all fusions but maybe cut to that then fusion deployment is nice um lot lot of the normal a card that kind of works like it's not too bad and actually with the discarding should trigger the effect of the should all monster so technically like super technically this card could be amazing in combination with uh, creating the tokens from dual avatar invitation but 
ja, äh, go in second, it's trash, it's go in first, it's also kind of trash, I don't know, it, it's okay, it's okay, you can't search it, I feel like it was too gimmicky, but, you know, if you want to, if you want to, I'm not, I'm not saying you should, but if, if you want to, um, Foolish Burial could run that, because they should all monsters, but the dual avatars, barely have any usage in the graveyard they do do stuff like i think uh, uh the fists guy can uh, get himself back or a fusion summon or something during the opponent's turn if i'm not mistaken um then uh yeah oh no you can get that that was the one that gets you back to the hand and that one uh, i think you can uh destroy monster and then a special summon one it's not a fusion summon but you can like get a monster from your extra deck um, that is a thing, and you could also play a second Rishidol Incarnation, because, well, sometimes this card in the grind game is actually pretty neat. And that's already the end of this deck profile, I hope I explained stuff enough, um, it's all experimental, I feel like this deck is not going to be super competitive or anything, um, but I felt like it was a fun addition to a new archetype that might or might not be good at one point, so uh, keep that in mind. I've also worked on a version with, uh, generators but sadly the field spell does not really uh, fulfill my requirements for a budget deck because uh, yeah you, you you know the price of the card so it's not uh, that great but also uh, they do work as, like surprisingly well together with dual avatar so i might make a deck profile on that at one point and i hope you have a good day